The pumps you saw supply the oil flow. The motors convert this flow into a force to do work. Hydraulic valves control the flow between the pump and motor. Although the valves used on open center machines don't look much alike, they are very similar in design and operation. This cutaway stack type valve contains most of the features you could find in any open center control valve. The parts in other valves may differ somewhat, but they perform similar functions. Consult your machine technical manual for details of the particular valve you are repairing. This valve stack section contains two circuit relief valves which are pilot operated and not adjustable. If they do not open at the correct setting, they must be replaced. Some relief valves are shim adjustable. Others are screw adjustable. In addition to the circuit reliefs, there are two anti-cavitation valves, a lift check valve, and a regenerative check valve. All four are similar in design and consist of a plunger, spring, and plug. Inspect the plunger and housing bore seating area for damage which would permit excessive leakage. You can take out the spool after removal of the dust shield, detent assembly, and the end cap. Behind the dust seal retainer are a breather washer and O-ring. This detent uses a solenoid detent release mechanism. Some valves use a hydraulic release. If the detent is operating properly, the entire assembly can be taken off the valve housing. Don't lose the steel balls which hold the spool in the detent position. Now you can slide the spool from the bore. Use caution when removing this centering spring. In addition to checking spring tension with a spring tester, look for cocked, crooked, broken, cracked, or rusty coils. Spools should be inspected for obvious damage, such as excessive wear, cracking, and damage caused by foreign objects passing through the system. Inspect the corners of the spool lands for burred edges. The burrs can be removed with emery cloth. Coating on the lands can be cleaned with crocus cloth. Do not remove any valve material, just the coating. Inspect the spool bore for scratches, burrs, or gouges. When action of the valve on the machine is erratic or sticky, it may be unbalanced due to wear on the spools or body. To check the spool, coat it with clean oil and work it in the bore. Rotate the spool a complete revolution to see if it fits without binding. If either the spool or housing is damaged, both must be replaced as an assembly.
This is the detent mechanism and detent release disassembled. You should check the spool screw, retainer, and detent for excessive wear. The spring should not be broken or cracked. It should check to tension specifications. When you put the detent assembly together, grease the balls to hold them in the retainer until it can be positioned on the spool screw. When you repair a control valve, lightly oil all parts prior to assembly and replace all O-rings and other hydraulic seals. Remember the basics you've seen in this program. Use good judgment and your component repair efforts will be a success.